Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about how I edit my photos and how to use my personal presets so you can get the most out of them. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see here, we have about 20 to 30 photos of mine that I've taken. And I'm just gonna show y'all how I use my presets. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions around presets that it's a slap on thing and you'll be good to go. No, you slap on a preset and then you make little tweaks to make that preset fit your photo and make your photo look well. So with that being said, if you wanna buy my presets, they'll be linked in the bio. So go ahead and go buy those. Um, but we'll go ahead and get straight into it. So right here, um, we have my friend Bennett. I took this photo last year on a Nikon D5600, and a lot of this stuff is on a Nikon, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll go ahead and dive right into my presets. Um, usually, so I have, the preset pack comes with one, two, three, five. These two right here are just ones that I made personal, and I just, I just slapped it onto this preset pack for me, but you won't get those. So, um, but usually what a really good outdoor one is game day three. And this is for like middle of the day. You can use it. Um, you can use it middle of the day and it might be, it might be a little bit too warm for like sunset, but you can definitely still use it for then. But um, game day three is usually my go-to. So I'll slap on that. And right now it looks pretty good. It might be a little bit too bright for my taste. Um, so we'll go ahead and maybe bring down the whites a little bit um maybe bring down the exposure a tiny bit um a lot of it is just playing with the sliders that's kind of my editing style um sometimes sometimes people get the oranges a little bit too saturated so i might bring that down a little bit um and then bring the gr i don't like how bright that grass is so i might bring the luminance of the yellows um Sometimes the grass reads as yellow instead of green, so I kind of bring the luminance down on that. And I'm pretty happy with that right there. So um, so the next photo we have right here is of David. Um, you know David, I've talked to him, talked about him a million times. This photo is actually a little bit out of focus, but let's not talk about that. But um, this photo was taken around last October, and this was mm, around like six o'clock, so close to sunset. And as you can see, actually game day three, was actually a little bit too cool for this. Um, so we'll go ahead and what's what's a good starting point for these? Um, I like, let's start with game day two. That gives us a good, I like how the oranges look with that. Let's start with that. Um, as you can see, obviously way too bright to start out with. Um, so I'll either bring down the whites, again, just playing with the sliders, I'll probably bring down the exposure a good bit. Um, so I like that. I want it to be a little bit warmer. I don't want those oranges to be too red. Um, so I'll kind of bring up the white balance a little bit, make it a little bit more warmer. Um, the reds are a little bit too saturated for me or too dark and too saturated. So I might bring down that a little bit. Same thing with the oranges. Actually, I want to keep that right there. Just might bring that up and then make the luminance on it a little bit better like that. I like that. Maybe bring up, I can, there's kind of a green tint to it, so it might bring up the, the tint on it and uh, maybe a little bit too warm, so go back. Um, and again, it, it's really all just playing with it, um, how you like your photos, but this is how I do it. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, you, you look at a photo and you're like, yeah, I like that, then you go back to it three hours later and you're like, why did I do that? So, but I like how this looks so far. Um, I might. I might play with it a little bit more, but for, for time's sake, this is, this is what I would probably do, something close to this right here. Um, same thing with this one. This is the same type photo. Um, usually what I do when I'm editing photos is I, is I go back to this one, copy the settings because it's the exact same shoot, and paste and see where we're at. So right here, it's obviously way too dark. So I'm going to go up to exposure, bring up the exposure a little bit. Um, might be a little bit too too bright right there, so bring that down. Then maybe go to the luminance. 
and bring that down a little bit and uh, I like that pretty pretty well um, for this shoot I was really I really like the idea of having the greens be a little bit desaturated and kind of yellow almost um, not completely like green like that um, but I kind of like how the greens look there I might if I were to do it a different way I might make it a little bit more green and a little bit yes less yellow but I like how it looks right there um, we'll kind of stick with that for there but so that's that photo for this photo right here I know for a fact that one of my presets was literally based off of this photo um, so I think it was game day three yeah game day three as you can see a perfect one um, there is a small tweak that I will make to this though um, I don't like how that green looks a little bit too dark for my taste um, it probably will read as yellow so I'll go back actually it reads as, reads as green actually but um yeah so I'll go back and change that and make that a little bit less green um, maybe desaturated a little bit and that's how I like that um, you know with with your photos especially when it comes to skin tones and oranges you really want to be careful a lot of these presets are based off of like my Malden photos so you know the the oranges are going to come out saturated so if your team let's say you're editing a sports photo and your team is blue um, like I know for a fact blue I have my saturation and lum my luminous down and my saturation down if you're a blue team you want to bring up the blue saturations because that's how I like my photos but um, you know just be careful with skin tones that they don't look too saturated I'll see some people using my presets and they just make the skin tones they don't know that you're supposed to edit after you put the preset on and that and then you know they'll they'll have the oranges like saturated like super like that and it just doesn't look natural um, so again play with it you know it's not an end-all be-all type thing so that's that photo now this is a wedding one I think I used a I think you can use one of my presets on these let's see game day three is a pretty good Game day three is a pretty good starting point for that. Um, I might bring, so right here, I think it's a little bit too saturated on the skin tones. So I'll kind of bring those down. Um, and it might be a little bit too cool. So we'll bring that up maybe, see how that looks. Again, like I said, it's all just a kind of a game you want to play. Like this is not a, just with the sliders, you know, it's not an end all be all thing. Um, I kind of like that right there. Skin tones might be a little bit too dark, maybe a little bit, something like that I can I can vibe with. Um, maybe mess with the green so they're not as green, make them a little bit desaturated and bring the luminous down. So something like that I can I can vibe with. There's the, here's the before and after. Um, so that's a wedding photo. So as you can see, they're meant for multiple different things. So right here, I know this This is a t at Teal Hannah in Anderson, South Carolina. And this is made, one of these was made from this exact, I wanna say game day five. So game day four, five, and one are made for all night photos. But I know game day five works with works with the, this type of lighting right here that Teal Hannah has. Um, I kinda like how it is already, but as you can see the reds or the oranges are just way too red. So I'll go up to orange and kind of bring that back, um, bring up the luminance, maybe mess with the reds a little bit. You know, again, just play with the sliders. It's not a science to it, um, but I kind of like that right there. Uh, I'll go up to the greens, and again, I don't want them to be like super, super green like that. Uh, maybe bring up the luminance on it a little bit. Um, but you know, something like that is what I would probably do maybe make those oranges a little bit darker just like that a little bit desaturated um maybe bring up the highlights a little bit but what i what i don't like to do is i don't like to you know bring up those shadows right here and you see you get all that noise and it just doesn't look right what i'd rather do is just have that it looks super black here but i'd rather have that so i don't have to show all that noise and again i'm not really that like scared of noise um but when this is already a crop sensor camera i probably 6400 ISO I don't want to show that anymore um so that's that's that photo um actually I might bring up the maybe lower the contrast a little bit um so there we go before and after not not crazy crazy difference but again I like it so we'll rock with that this right here is a practice photo at Malden shocker um 
Let's see. Game day two or game day three is probably good. Um, we'll start with game day three. Um, once you once you play with these presets, you know you have a pretty good idea of what needs to be fixed once you slap it on. For this one, really just raise the exposure a little bit, and I think you're good. Maybe you can. I know this this is coming off a little too magenta, so maybe bring that magenta down a little bit, and boom. I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Um, again, like I said, what I like to do is whatever team I'm shooting, I will have that whatever color there is they are, I'll have that color pop. So for Malden, their color is orange, so I'll have their their oranges like not super saturated, but you know, you can tell that the oranges are saturated. Um, so again, um, but again, when it's orange, be careful. So moving on to this photo, Jaden Lucas, um, Under Armour All-American shoot that I did one day um, in the fall last year. Um, one of these will be good. Um, this was a tricky, it wasn't a tricky shoot, or it was just a tricky way of editing, um, just because the field right here, it's like green and yellow, so trying to get the greens and yellows and grasses to look a good color was a little bit difficult. But I'll go ahead and slap on game day three, probably my favorite preset in the whole thing, um, if you haven't been able to tell by now. Um, but I might bring down the shadows a little bit. Um, I'll go up to the yellows and maybe bring down the luminance. See, if I bring it down too, weak, too much, you see how this, it just looks weird. It starts breaking apart. Um, so I'll bring it down a little bit. Maybe bring him, bring up the saturation. But then you can, if you bring up the saturation, you can start to see where it breaks apart. So that's what I was talking about. Um, and in these situations, you know, I might just kind of play it something like that to where, you know, it's not like super, super duper hard to tell. Um, skin tones might be a little bit too saturated on this, but I think it, I think I can, I can pull it off like that. Um, but that's some, something I would do for that, or I might go black and white for this, but um, this is how I would edit this photo. Maybe bring that up a little bit, but something something, something like that for sure. So before and after, not a, a big difference, but a difference that you can definitely tell. So next one is Chapman. Now I have not looked at these photos in a minute, so I don't know how I was gonna edit these. Ooh, game day four looks good. So yeah, we'll start with game day four. Um, a little bit too dark for me, so I'll raise the exposure a little bit. That's a good thing with shooting raw. You know, when you have that, when, you, when, when you're shooting raw, you know, you can um, afford to miss the exposure a little bit and then bring it back when you're editing. So um, bring up the shadows a little bit. And this is a, this is a case of, um, of, you know, they're blue and orange. Well, really they're white, but you know, when, if they're blue, then I want that blue to pop. And if they're orange also, I want the orange to pop. So um, it's already pretty saturated in the oranges right now. If I go to the blue, um, we'll go ahead and raise that up a little bit, but it doesn't even need that much. Um, so I like how this looks right here. I like the greens. I loved shooting at the stadium. I don't know why, but I just loved it. Um, I don't want to I don't want to saturate the greens too much. Um, I like how it's the greens are, are a little bit yellow and not as green. So again, I'll, I'll stick with this. I mean, again, just micro adjustments to the presets. So we'll show before and after. That's what that looks like. Next one, we have the same game pretty much. So I'll go back and copy this and kind of paste it and see where we're at. Now this right here is just way too dark for my liking. As you can see, you have all this noise in the shadows and I don't like that. And it's a little bit too cool for me and a little bit too magenta. So what I'll start with doing is bringing down the ex Exposure, bring up the highlights a little bit, or bring up the whites, um, bring down the shadows a little bit more than that. Maybe make it a little bit more contrasty. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else does it need? Um, two magenta, definitely bring that down. Um, the yellows are looking a little bit, or the greens are looking a little bit weird to me. I don't really like it. Um, let's see, what can we do to fix that? Um, no, I don't like that. Uh, uh, let's see, like that right there. See, I like that. Yeah, so something like this. I, I really like that. Maybe make the oranges, as you can see, super noisy. This was a D, D5600, so I apologize about the noise, but maybe make those oranges pop a little bit more, make a little bit red. 
give it a little red tint to it. Um, something like that. Again, not that big of a deal because it's so far away you won't even be able to see it. But before and after, I like that. So um, now we have, this was a Woodmont game, shooting straight into the sun. So have a little bit of a glare problem or hazy problem, but we can fix that. Um, so we'll go, we'll start with, mm, which one's a good one? We'll start with game day two, actually. And uh, as you can see, pretty good start right there. I know with these presets, I added a little bit of dehaze. So without the dehaze, that's what it would look like. Um, you might want to dehaze it a little bit, but you know, when you dehaze, um, you're always going to add contrast to it. So um, you can do that. I wouldn't make, recommend doing going like that much, but maybe a little bit more than what it was. But again, I don't really think it's that big of a deal to to have it a little bit hazy. But again, it's all personal preference. Um, so I'll bring down the contrast a little bit. Um, might want to make the oranges not as saturated. Um, but again, that's all personal preference. Um, I kind of like to have my oranges a little bit red, like redder, not like Tennessee orange, like that. Um, but we'll, we'll kind of rock with that right there. Let me make a little bit more Tennessee orange. Um, and I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that right there. Um, again, play with the sliders, see what you like. Um, I like how that looks. I like the sun right there. Um, the greens look good. Yellows look good. So we'll, we'll rock with that. Maybe make, you, can make, you could make it a little bit darker if you wanted to, but I like it where it is with that. Well, all right, so we're moving on to this one now. And this was the same game, completely different time. This was right at sunset. This was in the middle of the game at night. So, I mean, I could copy that, but, you know, in the actual workflow, that's not going to work at all. So, um, plus I know I have better presets for that. Um, so I know game day one will work good with this. Um, that's my go-to night. That's my go-to night preset. So again, all I'll pretty much have to do for this is just raise the exposure. Um, just because I'm used to editing with this, I know what to do, you know. I might make this orange just a little bit more orange. And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that right there. Might bring the luminance on the greens down. Um, I love this photo so much. You can zoom in and it's tax, tax sharp, but it's not loading right now. But um, yeah, as you can see, sometimes with, I know with game day one, you if you want to bring down, bring up, you can see a little uh, blue right here. I might bring that saturation up a little bit. Um, but again, not that big of a deal since, you know, I'm mainly focusing on this, not this, this guy right here. Um, but I like how that looks right there. Now for this. This is a, this is my friend Zoe, family friend from Charleston, and uh, did a photo shoot with her. This is backlit, so this is not like what I'm used to editing, um, but let's see what a good starting point is. Let's start right here. So, um, as you can see, way too dark, skin is way too red, so what should we start with? Um, I'll start desaturating the reds a little bit. Um, honestly, probably just bringing up the exposure too. Um, I'll probably for something like this if it's backlit I'll go for something like light and airy that type of vibe um, Not necessarily focusing making sure that everything is perfectly exposed because it's obviously backlit So that's kind of a struggle with that with that um, Maybe bring down the greens a little bit bring up the saturation um, You go to oranges make those a little bit de more desaturated and uh, Maybe bring up the luminance on it uh, again, all personal preference. This is just how I would do it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so something like that. Um, again, not the most perfect lighting conditions, but this is what I had to work with. So, you know, we'll kind of, it would be something like that. Um, maybe make it a little bit less magenta. Um, so, yeah, something, something like that. Uh, I would be good with. Let's see if I would make it a little bit cooler. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, I like that. Um, bring up the the blues a little bit. I don't like how his shirt looks that blue. So yeah, something like that. That's what we'll go with. Next photo is my boy David. This is not the best photo. Oh, because it looked like he had his eyes closed. Maybe not. This is a shot with a D5600, so not the tackish, sharp thing in the world. But 
Um, I know for this photo, I was kind of going for like a filmy-ish look, not necessarily film, but film-ish. Um, so I know, I mean, game day three, I mean, they're all going to start out again br a little bit bright. Um, so we'll start out with game day three, break down the exposure a little bit, um, maybe a little bit more. Um, so that looks good on exposure, a little bit too magenta. So we'll bring down that. Um, I mean, shoot, I mean, I'm kind of liking that already. Um, bring up the highlights, see what that does. Let's see if I were to bring down the shadows and then lower the contrast. What would that would do a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I'm liking that. Greens look good. Skin looks good. This is before and after. Pretty simple. You could make it a little bit, add a little bit magenta if you don't like how the green the rocks look but again i like it so we'll rock with it um going on to the next one this is the last game these two are the last games of malden season when we played at burns heartbreaking loss but um but yeah so we'll, we'll start with uh what's a good one we'll start with game day five i think that looks the best um first off too magenta, way too magenta, and then way too warm. So I'll bring down, make it a little bit cooler, maybe bring up exposure a little bit. Then once I bring that exposure up, you can kind of see the noise start to come in. So I'll bring down the shadows. Um, let me bring down the whites a tiny, tiny bit. Um, let's see, I mean, I like how that looks. Um, sometimes the oranges might look a little too red, so I'll fix that. But yeah, I like how that looks, so we'll go with that. Um, sometimes the greens right here look a little weird, but no one's really paying attention to that, so I think I'll be all right with that. So same game, so we'll copy and copy the settings, see what that does. Way too orange, way too bright. We'll go ahead and bring down the exposure, make it cooler. Um, Kind of play with the white balance a little bit. His jersey looks a little too blue. That's the luminance. So we'll bring the luminance up. So the jersey doesn't look, you know, super duper cool. If that doesn't work, then we'll go back and fix the white balance. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. That I mean, that's, that's good for me. Um, I'm liking how that looks. So um, before and after. Boom, boom. Natural look to it. Looks good. So for this one, I know I have a preset that's basically based off Spartanburg High School's lights. Not that one. Um, I want to say it's game day five. Just like that. Um, I mean, right off rip, it looks pretty good. So what I'll probably do is just bring up the saturation on the blues because I like to saturate whatever team, whatever color that team is wearing. So bring up the saturation on the blues. You might be able, you might want to make it a little bit more magenta, but depending on your taste, might make the greens a little bit less green and maybe a little bit more yellow hue, but all personal preference. But I, mean, I like how that looks, so uh, we'll rock with that. Next one, same thing, same exact lighting conditions. So I'll go back and copy and paste those. Um, a little too dark, so I'll go up to the exposure, raise that up a little bit. As you can see, it starts introducing noise, so I'll probably go back to shadows, bring the shadows down. This is one of those photos where I'm not, you know, looking for everything to be perfectly exposed. Um, so if I have like super duper contrasty areas like right here, you know, I'm not gonna stress out about it. Blues might be a little bit too saturated. I'll bring that down. Um, I'll bring the luminance down on the blues, but like that, I like that. So we'll go with that. Now for this one, this is my, my old high school coach's kid that I took pictures of. They were, this was the hardest shoot I've ever done in my life, but they were, I love those kids. So, you know, they're cool. Um, let's see, what's a good starting point? Um, we'll go with game day two. That gives me the best. Um, as you can see, too bright. 
So we'll go down and bring down the saturation on it. Maybe bring up the highlights a little bit. Um, bring up the exposure a little bit as well. Shoot, I mean, that's a go-to thing right there, man. Not much you can ask for there. Um, just play with the sliders a tiny bit. Um, you might you might think there it's a little bit too magenta on their face. I don't really see it, but I'll stick with it like that. You could make it warmer if you want to. Um, but I like it. I, mean, I did make it a little bit warmer. So yeah, I mean I like that. Um, again, one of the hardest shoots I've ever done in my life. I will never do little kids again ever. So moving on to the next one, we'll skip over this one. Skip over that one because that's a film thing, but. This was the All-America game. This was Travis Hunter. If you, if you don't know, he plays for um, Jackson State for Deion Sanders. Um, so I got to go down there to Orlando. I'll make a video about that, by the way. Um, but he went down. I went down there to to it. Went down there to Orlando to take photos during the All-America game. So that was pretty cool. Um, I do have a kind of a preset for this for this whole game, but we'll start with one of my personal ones. What's a good one? Um, game day three is probably gonna be the best. Um, so for this, again, so this is one of the weird ones where like, you know, they're wearing yellow, so I wanna, I wanna make that yellow pop. But with this preset, the yellows are desaturated. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to go back, make the yellows pop, um, not give it too much green have something like that the blues are desaturated so bring the I want to make this pop as well these blues right here pop um, but I don't want to make the, the pants super duper blue either um, see so if like it's missing something maybe make it a little bit warmer yellows are coming off too green for me so go that way um, I feel like it's missing something man forget how I did this maybe make it a little bit more saturated maybe yeah there we go bring up the whole saturation in its entirety then bring down the yellow saturation so it's not super saturated and I mean there we go um, I don't like how his pants look blue sometimes and that's because of the luminance but you know most people won't even notice that so I mean I'll stick with it like that um, the one thing I don't like about this photo is right here, this U UA Next thing. That's just the flicker of the screen. Nothing I could do about that. Most people don't even know. So, but um, my yellows might be a little bit too, too dark. But something like that is what I would usually usually go for. So, before and after, pretty big difference. Um, but yeah, maybe go to the greens as well. Bring down the greens so you can make make the grass a little bit not as overexposed so something like that for sure yeah I like that I like how that looks now this is a game in Malden and a lot of my presets are based off Malden highs uh, lighting situations so I think game day one is good for indoors as well so we'll go with that what am I good at recording um, just bring up that might be a little bit too orange so I'll bring down the coolness of it and boom, I mean, that's, I like that right off rip. Maybe bring up the blues a little bit just to make theirs pop, but not even necessary. So before and after, pretty pretty crazy. Just one click and, a, and an exposure move. This is one of my favorites from the baseball season. My boy Grant. Let's see which one works best. Either game day two or three could work, really. Um, we'll go with game day two and see what happens. Bring down the white balance. Bring up the exposure a tiny bit. Maybe bring down the whites as well. Shoot, I'm already liking that. Orange, this looks a little bit too red, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Again, most people won't know. Um, 
maybe go to the greens and make those a little bit more saturated. Sometimes it reads as yellow. It'll probably read as yellow. So yeah, there it goes. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. I like that. So we'll show before and after. Pretty big difference. I like how it looks. So next one is a portrait of my friend Sarah. Did her senior photos. They turned out really well. Um, let's see what works best. Game day three. It looks perfect. Again, raise the exposure a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit warmer. Bring down the highlights or whites if possible. Skin might come off a little bit too saturated, so I'll probably desaturate that um, a tiny bit, but still make it, still might like to make them look tan, you know? Want to help them out a little bit. Um, but boom, just like that. Before and after. Um, just, actually, I'll, I'll mess with the, the yellows, actually. Bring those down. Boom, just like that. We'll show the before and after. Boom. Next one. This is the last one, I think, right? No, second to last one. Um, this is funny. So all my presets are basically based off of my last year's graduation photos that were taken in this exact spot right here. So um, I know game day three will work perfect with it because this preset was made from this pretty much this exact same photo in this exact same spot. Um, so we'll, we might make the a couple couple different changes bring down the luminance on the greens and that's pretty much it this is a little bit a little bit overexposed but I think it looks good maybe bring down the shadows on the on that graduation coat there but there we go I like how that looks add to that photo boom before and after big difference on that now this one I went for a film vibe um, for these photos I don't even know if any of these will work um, oh, this will test me right here. We'll start out with we'll start out with this. Bring up the warmth. Make it a little bit less contrasty. Go to the blues. Boom. Go to the grading. I don't like how that looks. Shadows, I might make a little bit more warm. Just because it is, I was going for a film look here. And then I'll go down and add, add some, where's grain at? Or noise? No. Is that noise? That's noise reduction. Don't do that. Um... Wherever grain's at, I'll usually add some grain to it. I can't find it right now, but there it is. Yeah, I'll add some grain to it. Not make it look insanely, insanely grainy, but, you know, if you're going for film look, you know, you kind of have, have to add some grain. But, I mean, there we go. Something like that is what I went for. This this lens right here has a a, a big, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but... Um, vignetting problem. So I'll usually enable lens corrections and then that'll make it super bright. So I'll go back down and fix it. So something like that. Maybe make the blues a little less saturated. Yeah, something like that. I like that. So boom. All right. Well, y'all appreciate y'all watching. That's, that's pretty much how I edit my photos. Um, Again, I appreciate y'all watching. If you want to go by my presets, they're linked in the description. Um, they're $15. You get five presets. As you can see, they work with all types of photos. So, uh, again, appreciate y'all watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.